Do anything about that? A little, little secret, just, just between you and me. We won't tell anyone. Okay, right. The Labor Party will always say negative things about you <gasps> if you're a Liberal really? or an LNP. Oh absolutely. They will always say terrible things. The they, left they, will they, always attack you yeah, if they you're on the right. Oh, absolutely. Who knew? Yeah, who knew? Wow. And okay. you know what the thing is to be, if, 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 the, if the Labor Party are right, that's like if they say something about you that you've done wrong and they've, it's a target round, as we used to say in the army, well, then maybe you, you, you then correct your behaviour or your policy. Yeah. But if, if it's just the Labor Party trying to frame you, you know, yeah, position yeah. Oh, you, well, that's, it, yeah, and, and then, then you have to push back. You yeah. have to find clever You've ways. Got to fight. You, you have to have find clever ways to articulate the ar argument. You have to find allies who are prepared to come along and back what you're doing. Back, mm. tell people why you're you're making or uh, well, you're taking the particular stance. Mm. I mean, you know, Australians are reasonable well, well, people. Take, take if you the explain, this take, is a take, constitutional take the change. Sta take, take the stage three tax cuts. Okay. The, the language the left use, the language that uh, the left wing hanger honours use, the think tanks, etc., is is that by getting rid of the stage three tax cuts, they are savings. They're savings. They're not savings. That's <laughs> simply taking away incentive and the effort of hard-working Australians. Many of them are traditional sort of Labor voters. There are many people in the high-vis gear who are commuting to the coal mines and the iron ore mines yep. who are people who will benefit from the stage three tax cuts. They're not millionaires. No. They're not silver tails. And yet they're being, they, are, they are now being, uh, they're, they're now being hit with tax where they lose 50 cents and every dollar is being ripped out of their pay packets. Now, why don't we hear that yeah. from Liberal politicians? Yeah. Okay, so we've got two groups in the Liberal Party, from what I can see. We've got the people who've stayed inside the party who are Conservatives, like Peter Dutton, I guess. Mm. Uh, and you've got um, people who are uh, on the, on the uh, other side, I guess, who are what I would call nearly teal, right? These people are the left wing of the Liberal Party. Mm. They seem to have an awful lot of clout. I mean, they we do. saw it with Matt Keane yep. uh, and Dominic Perrottet. Uh, it was very hard for Perrottet to maintain his conservative values and basically handed government over to the Labor Party mm. in New South Wales as some sort of gift with a bow wrapped on top. Mm. Uh, what, what's your take on what the Liberal Party needs to do about people who probably... Have they, have they taken control of the party, these I think nearly have, yeah. teals? Yeah, they have in New South Wales for sure. Victoria? And, and well, and in Victoria it's, um, you know, it's a big problem as well. And they just don't seem to get it. I mean, you know, like, I, I acknowledge that the inner cities have changed in, in seats that were once, you know, liberal, you know, leaning seats uh, and they are longer probably going to vote that way. But there are huge opportunities to go for seats in the middle and outer outer ring suburbs and indeed across Australia in, in regional and rural Australia. That's where the focus has to be.